Ted, the guys were talking about still not really being connected and feeling like maybe they made some progress with some team meetings and stuff, but that they still weren't all five point in the right direction in this game. Did you see any progress in that regard from the Iowa game? Do you feel like you made any progress in that? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I, th- I thought we played harder tonight. Um, I just, I mean, I, it, you know, Maryland's a heck of a basketball team, and um, uh, they they did a tremendous job. <laughs> Of finding open guys and uh, and they they really shoot the ball well, um, you know because of their their ability to penetrate off the ball screens we were in some scramble situations, and um, and they I mean the the three our luck has it you know we tip the ball out it goes to them they throw it to Trimble he hits a I mean Mark was like literally crawling on top of me hits a three and it's like geez but um, yeah I, I think you know I thought we executed better offensively tonight we had a, a uh, uh, just a, a, a better flow to us, a better pace to us, and um, you know we just we, we've got to understand those plays with 12 minutes going in the first half make a difference when we don't run back in transition or, or you know we miss a layup and they get a dunk at the other end. Um, you know, um, just giving them credit. I mean, as I told our guys, we played better, but we didn't play good enough. So uh, we come back in and, and start again and get ready for Saturday. Uh, we get we got to. You know, continue to, to to climb the stairs to success. Do you feel at all familiar in that double-digit deficit, and you guys fight your way back, and you got within one four times, but you couldn't get that basket. Yeah. Is it another case of just you, it takes too much energy just to get back in the game when you fall behind like that against a team like this? No, I, I don't think so. Um, you know, the, the one thing you look at Maryland, uh, I don't know how many, but the nine Big Ten games, a lot of their games have been just like this, and. Um, uh, even Saturday's game against Minnesota, they were down and, and just kind of made some some really really big plays. And um, uh, you know, I, I thought we we did a good job of uh, keeping guys as fresh as we could. Pat, the, the tendency, I guess, any sport in basketball is to look at offense and you judge a team by the offense. But is it possible the the elephant in the room, if there is one with this team, is defense and guys just not playing defense like they should not fighting through ball screens just yeah yes yeah I had a guy the last 12 minutes and it just didn't look like he was playing right the defense he should have been playing yeah you know I I think from the standpoint of uh, you know you look at the first two I think they scored 24 points in the first two uh, four minutes of the first and second half and um, you know, we were telling our guys we were playing on our hills defensively at the beginning of the game. I mean, they just sort of had their ways with the start second half. We just we weren't we didn't have the the, the same energy. Um, you know, it's it's one of uh, you when you see it out there when when guys are are active and and we we've done a uh, a, a pretty good job. We were just we're we're a little bit slow at times on the screens, and that's what we're trying to get them to understand is like. It's got to be every position, you know, and and um, so I, I think defense. I mean, you know, seventy-seven. We gave up eighty-five or whatever it was the other night. Um, we got to get back to locking down on the defensive end. That's for sure. You mentioned the other day, the proverb I think is what you said of not being able to lead unless you want to be led, and they just both mentioned that. Is that how big of an issue is that with this team? You know that it's come up couple times now in the last few days well I, I think from the standpoint of, of you know you're in you're in those days and and uh, of, of uh, there there's got to be a toughness element about you in in terms of, of um, what what you bring to the table every single day and and when we get that we're we're, we're pretty good basketball team but I think from the standpoint of uh, guys understanding um, you know, we're we're trying to give every advantage we possibly can for us as a unit to play our best basketball, and um, it can't be, you know, you only listen on the offensive end, but you know, you don't listen on the defensive. End. It's got to be all inclusive. Thad, I know you're not um, you're not one to make drastic lineup changes usually, but and I know you need everybody, but with the way that Andre and, and CJ seem to be playing, and they seem to be giving you what you ask for more often than not. Are those two guys that need to play more moving forward? Do you think? What they give you? Yeah, I mean, we wrote them. We wrote them down the stretch. I mean, they, those guys were were competing, um, and and did a really really nice job. Um, you know, CJ was just so much more disruptive with the ball screens, and and we went small at the end, and um, 
just because we were trying to be a little bit more disruptive with them. But, uh, um, yeah, I mean, I, as I said, I, I think those two guys are, are, are playing really, really good basketball right now. That you now need to win eight straight to match your Big Ten record from last year. Do you still see, with the way this team has played in the past month or so, do you still see a run? Is that still possible for this group? Eight straight? Yeah, we can do it. That's the goal. That's the goal. Yeah. We'll see. So, Jaquan doesn't play the last 12 minutes. He played basically the whole game until then. He's your second leading scorer, the guy with the ball in his hands all the time. It, that seems like something. Is that a problem? Is that, or no. is that a matchup? Yeah, it was, it was more of a matchup. I mean, um, you know, I, we, we just thought that, that CJ was being more disruptive in terms of, of uh, you know, Trimble got going there for a second on his penetration, and, and uh, um, you know, we couldn't take him off. We, we had made an adjustment. Uh, we got to play him again, so I won't say what it was, but it was, it was pretty effective for us. And CJ just had a much better feel for what he was supposed to do with, with the, the guy he was guarding. Okay, because, I mean, it, he's an important part of your team, mm -hmm. Jaquan, and it just seems a little odd that a guy that important would basically not play in a tight game that you really could use a win, and you guys are seem sort of better without him. Yeah, that's well, you, not you know, weird at all, or no? It was tonight was a, a plus minus still. You know, we, we keep a plus minus, yeah. and and um, plus minus wasn't good tonight. No, CJ's was tremendous, and um, and that was kind of what we what we went with. And so th that we're ten games into the Big Ten season, and these Jay Sean and Mark were talking about some guys are in, and some guys maybe still weren't in tonight. Is this just the thing, you lose a game and they have to come up here and talk to us and, and say something? Or is there something happening that maybe is different than other years that you're 10 games into the Big Ten and not everybody's in? Not everybody's on board, not everybody's focused, not everybody's playing hard. Is there something different this year than past years that's more of an issue? Now, I, I, I can say this 100% guaranteed. On January 31st for 13 years that I've been here, Ain't everybody been in at this time of the season, and uh, I mean that's that is what it that's is. Just life. That is life in college basketball. They, I mean, <laughs> no. Okay. Talk to any coach in the country right now, and the, and the issues we're dealing with. I mean, it's it's incredible. But I say that like we've got major issues. We don't. I mean, my my thing is I got to find five guys that are going to compete like crazy. And, and hey, I thought at the end of the game those guys were competing as hard as they possibly could. Um, you know, it, it's it's sometimes there, there's games where you say, hey, in the past this guy's done this. Tonight we were coaching in the moment. Um, we, we thought those guys had given us a, a, a great opportunity. I mean, Andre Wesson, what he was doing defensively uh, with his size, I mean, he did a, a tremendous job of being in help. He was tagging. And, um, you know, I, we just we thought that was the way to go with it. Uh, Nothing too deep on that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the decision to start Micah. I know Trevor came in quickly, but was that just that a coach's decision? Okay. Yeah. Let me, let me ask one more. Thing. Do you like this team? I do. Because I think I know how you want to play, how you'd like to do things, lockdown on defense, and right. You, when you see, I mean, I know sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, but the effort, the focus, game in, game out. How do you normally feel with this team? Mm, yeah, I, I think this, Doug, this team is an, uh, a team. We've got to keep the eye, our eyes on our blind spots, and we've got a lot of them. And it's a line from a John Hyatt song. If you Google him, he's a heck of a, heck of a singer. And, uh, but I heard that the other day, and I'm like, God, he's talking about my team. Um, Rob, you know John Hyatt? One of the best ever, and uh, but but I say that from the standpoint of we we just have to get uh, as as connected as we possibly can. We, we've had some, you know, some some incredible games that uh, you know before tonight with a uh, six point loss, we'd lost two home games by a total of three points. Um, you know, I think that we've we've put ourselves in in some positions to to have the opportunity. Um, you know, you still look at it, 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 no excuses, but we're still a young kind of uh, basketball team with only one senior. But with that said, those guys have to 
th th those days are are over in terms of of uh, feeling sorry for ourselves or whatever. We gotta we gotta find a way to to beat a great basketball team tonight. We had opportunities and and uh, uh, we didn't get it done. One more thing about Micah and, and Trevor, coach's decision. How do you see that play out? How do you think those guys responded to swapping the roles a little bit? Well, I, I thought uh, they they were good. I mean, you know. Michael was, uh, I thought, second half, he showed some great toughness on a couple of rebounds down there. I mean, big time rebounds, had some blocks. And, um, you know, Trevor was, uh, I, I thought he rebounded the ball well, had a couple finishes that uh, didn't go down for him, but uh, I, I thought he did a pretty nice job with it. Simply, if you get like this up, you seem pretty pleased with the effort you got tonight. If they give you this consistent effort, do you feel like you guys are going to win a lot of games down the stretch here? I'm going to go back to what Doug's asked uh, about the players just sitting up here having to answer questions. I'm not real happy right now. So, yeah. <laughs> All right.